third graders welcome back to learning with m if you're new to this channel then my name is manika and i'm a former mathematics educator this is a part of my series maths with grade 3 today we are going to learn even and odd numbers if you like to learn from these videos then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell just below this video so are you ready to learn with them then let's get started let's learn even and odd numbers what are even and odd numbers Even numbers are those numbers that are divisible by 2. Odd numbers are those numbers that are not divisible by 2. Don't understand the meaning of divisible by 2? For that, you have to first understand what is a pair? A group of two things is called a pair. For example, a pair of shoes. Or a pair of socks. Or a pair of gloves. You and your best friend also make a great pair. If a number can be grouped into perfect pairs, it is called an even number. And if a number cannot be grouped into perfect pairs, then it is called an odd number. One cannot be grouped into a pair. So, one is an odd number. Two can be grouped into a pair. How? Like this. So, two is an even number. Three cannot be grouped into perfect pairs. One item will be left alone. So, three is an odd number. Four can be grouped into perfect pairs. Two perfect pairs like these. Four is an even number. Five cannot be grouped into perfect pairs. Let's check why. One and two. One item is left alone. So, 5 is an odd number. 6 can be grouped into perfect pairs. Let me show you how. 1, 2 and 3 pairs. So, 6 is an even number. 7 cannot be grouped into perfect pairs. Let's check. One, two, three pairs and one item is left alone. So, seven is an odd number. Eight can be grouped into perfect pairs. Let me show you. One, 
two, three, and four perfect pairs. So eight is an even number. Now nine cannot be grouped into perfect pairs. Let's check. One, two, three, four pairs, and one is left alone. Therefore, nine is an odd number, and ten can be grouped into perfect pairs. Let me show you. One, two, three. Four and five perfect pairs. So, ten is an even number. It's time for fun facts with them. Did you know that zero is an even number? Starting from one, every alternate number is an odd number. And the number between two odd numbers is an even number. Therefore, one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd numbers. And two, four, six, eight, and ten are even numbers. But what about bigger numbers? It's difficult to divide big numbers into pairs or groups of two. Here's an easy trick to find out if any number is even or odd. Just check the last digit of the number. For example, two thousand three hundred and forty-five. Is it even or odd? Check the last digit. It is five, and five is odd. So two thousand three hundred and forty-five is an odd number. Let's try one more number. One thousand nine hundred and ninety. Check the last digit of this number. It is zero, and zero is even. So one thousand nine hundred and ninety is an even number. A number is even if it ends with zero, two, four, six, or eight, and. A number is odd if it ends with one, three, five, seven, or nine. It's riddle time. Can you name one odd number that does not have an e in its spelling? Think, think, keep guessing. There is no odd number that does not have e in its spelling. It's time for practice now. Is three thousand four hundred and ninety-eight even or odd? For that, you have to check the last digit. The last digit is eight, and eight is even or odd. Very good. Eight is even, so three thousand four hundred and ninety-eight is even. Let's try one more example. Is the number six thousand two hundred and seven even or odd? Again, check the last digit. The last digit is seven. Is seven even or odd? Perfect. Seven is odd, so six thousand two hundred seven is odd. Very good, great work. 
If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can also learn with them. And please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new video. I'm going to see you in the next video with a new interesting lesson. Till then, bye-bye.